Hey, what's up, guys? It's LEGO Hobo 910 here with another LEGO video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at my clone army. This is the second part of four videos that I'm planning on doing this summer, and possibly doing every summer. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough growth in each army to justify it every summer. Uh, last video was the Imperial Army, and here we have the clone army. I'm also planning on doing a droid army and a rebel army. So let's get right in and start looking at the clones. So we're just going to quickly pan over all of them, then I'll go through and talk about them more individually. So we're going to start on this side here, where we have six just kind of regular clones, two of them being the Clone Wars versions, and uh, four of them just being regular Episode 2 versions. I really wish there was a way to get more of these in bulk easy, because sadly LEGO really doesn't release that many clone themed sets in recent years, especially many just kind of, you know, clone battle packs in recent years that just have regular clones. Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be easier to get clone sets fairly soon with the uh, Clone Wars coming back. Hopefully they're going to release a bunch of new sets for that, like a ATTE and a droid gun, I mean, excuse me, a clone gunship, and then uh, also, of course, the 501st Battle Pack that we all want, but I also just really want a regular clone battle pack because it's really hard to just mass up regular clones. Then back here we have a couple just green ARF Troopers, and then we have the ARC ARF Trooper, as you can see he's an ARF Trooper with red markings. And then we have this ARC Trooper to go with him, which is probably one of my favorite and probably one of the coolest clones I have in here. Then we have this guy, which is just a uh, regular clone, again, but he just has smaller pistols and then also has a couple of these attachments on here. Then we also have a green, I believe it's sergeant there, I'm 90% sure it's a sergeant. And then way in the back here we have four really, really old Phase 2 pilots that came with the V-Wing and the ARC-170 back there, which we'll look at in a second. And two of them have the really old megaphone and uh, stud blasters instead of the stud shooters or molded ones. And those were from, I believe, 2005 and 2006, approximately. And then over here we have kind of my Kashyyyk group. As you can see, I have three of these normal Kashyyyk troopers and two commander degrees. There's actually two different kinds in here. There's an older style and a newer style, and it's a very slight difference if you look like at the hit piece there, it's brown and there, it's dark tan. And then these two degrees are slightly different if you look at the little strap there, that one's gray and that one's dark tan. The ones with the dark tan are the slightly newer ones, and then the ones with the brown and the gray are the slightly older ones. We also have a phase one commander degree. Uh, from the Clone Wars when he's kind of not in his Kashyyyk armor. Then back here we have two just of these green clone troopers. They just came in a battle pack. I don't think they're from meant to be from any specific legion or any certain rank. And then I also have four bomb squad troopers here, one of who's missing his helmet. I don't know where that is. I want to find it at some point, though. And then a phase one and a phase two gunner back there. So now let's go look at some of these smaller builds in the back. So like I said, LEGO doesn't make too many clone-themed battle packs, so I really don't have that many uh, battle pack builds here. I have this one small command center build from, uh, I believe, the Clone Trooper and Droidica battle pack, and then it can just flip up, and then there's a flick fire missile there. It's actually, I believe, meant to be a canonical vehicle, which you see in Battle of Geonosis in Episode 2. Except it's like a giant command center, so that's just kind of a miniaturized version. And then there's this weird little turret walker thing that came in the commando droid and uh, arc trooper battle pack, and that's nothing canonical. Then there's these two speeders, which once again I don't believe are anything canonical, but they look slightly like bark speeders. And also then this one kind of miniaturized uh, clone gunship from the clone and droid, excuse me, uh, clone and Jedi battle pack. Then back there we have, like, the biggest nostalgia of this. It's this old clone walker battle pack that came with the uh, two Clone Wars clones, that one, and then the gunner there. And then there's one last battle pack build-sized 
vehicle is not actually from Battle Pack, it's just a small little ATRD that came with the turbo tank here. That's some of our larger vehicles. As you can see, we have a little hover tank back here, which I really like. I think it's a really cool build. Then we have the largest vehicle in this clone army here, the uh, clone turbo tank there. Then we also have this Scout Walker set from the 20th anniversary ones, which is kind of meant to be an ATRT, except it's huge and way out of scale. Though, if you want, you can just imagine it to be some other Walker type thing. And then there in the back, we have the ATAP. Then over here is kind of some of the old sets. We have, I believe, a 2005 V Wing, the first of three different V Wing designs. And then in the back we have the ARC-170, which I believe is actually like longer than the clone turbo tank, but the clone turbo tank is much more dense and also more pieces and higher price. And these two vehicles here actually used to be my older brothers, so that's why they don't bring as much nostalgia or something like that, even though these are much older. Though I do think it's very cool to have some of these older vehicles in your collection, uh, just because they really stand out and it's kind of unique. Uh, and something I noticed about the ARC-170 here is you can see how kind of thin and flimsy the wings are here. They're like one plate, at most points two plates where you just have two different colors connecting. Most ships nowadays have like three layers of plates, that way you know you can sandwich and stagger things, that way they all stay together very well. So those wings are kind of flimsy, and in fact when building it I had a lot of problems with them popping off back there. But it's a pretty interesting build, and once again, kind of a cool, unique thing to have in your collection, something old like that. And I think it's definitely a unique build. It's the 2006 one, and I believe the first of two. So that's my clone army. I know the video is nowhere near as long as the Imperial Army video, and also the army is nowhere near as big. But that's because, like I said earlier, it's really hard to get massive amounts of clones nowadays, considering they don't make many clone theme sets and not many clone battle packs, because that's where, like, a large percentage of my Imperial troops came from, is just battle packs. So it's really hard to get lots of clones by just buying large sets that come with, like, two or three of them, and you can't just buy, like, three or four battle packs. So overall, there are 30 clones there. And then we have six battle pack builds, as well as one more battle pack size build. One, two, three, four, five, six more large builds. So yeah, that's my clone army. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, and stay tuned, because hopefully tomorrow I'll be releasing the droid army video, and then the day after that, the rebel army video. That's all from me for now, and bye.